G'day mate and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with me, JD, in this sort of tutorial series. Um, quick recap, so, last episode, we got bigger and better batteries set up. We got a coal generator running so we don't have a single duplicate running on a wheel non-stop to produce power. We can now use coal power to offset that amount. Um, we have a small problem right here, so we're just going to higher priority that tile, so... This wash basin, basin's got something to sit on. We've got the micro musher outputting slightly high qu higher qu qu both quality of food and um, slightly higher calories. We've got the supercomputer up and running to give us a better tech tree. Um, we've still got the duplicates working along trying to get us a, a better... Um, a uh, Go from a, a... Whatever it's called. A mess hall. A mess hall to a great hall, which requires some digging and some building to keep going. Um, we've got the job board up and going, so we can actually start leveling up our duplicates and getting them better traits. Um, and that's sort of where we're up to. Now, we've got, we've got quite a few things that we need to look at. We are running down the tech tree to get um, better bathrooms up and running, because... It's a fairly easy thing to do, and it also gives more morale bonus, which means uh, jobs. We can go higher and higher up the job tier, which is something you're going to always want to strive for. Um, as you can see, you know some of our duplicates are okay. Some of them have these little asterisks here. It it could be because it's the start of their day cycle, so at the start of every cycle, don't know why oxygen not not good. It does this, but the start of every cycle their morale gets reset to zero and then they need to get those buffs back um it is something that you can min max by putting their downtime right at the start of the schedule so hopefully they can go and and their their downtime which is also when they eat and that sort of stuff and, and put that at the start of the cycle and they can hopefully regain that morale bonus as fast as possible to try and keep the stress levels down because stress levels are if stress if stress levels get bad bad things happen um so that's sort of where we're up to now we need a couple more things rolling before we can really step out of that really really early game um first off because we don't have any sort of smarts for our coal generator we need to look at getting um, more battery storage um, just so we don't waste what coal we're putting into the, the coal generator. We can go get a smart battery later on in the game, but we're not at that stage yet. Um, we probably need more farm tiles still. Uh, that's something that we still need to, to really, really look at. Uh, at the same time, one thing that we haven't really dealt with at all is all the crap we have look, laying on the ground. We really need some sort of central storage to start getting in storage compactors. Now, the quickest way to do this is literally lay down a stack of tiles and put down a stack of storage containers. But one of the very important things that you really need to think about is you never, ever, ever, ever want to move your central storage because it will take the duplicates not just hours but days and days to move the whole lot so i tend to wait till the base is a little bit more developed um before i sort of look at where i want to put central storage you know obviously we've got water down here um so we've lost a lot of our, our the bottom of our base we have all sorts of biomes further and further out as we go, some of which have germs in them, ranging from not so bad to really bad. Um, so that's something again we've we've got to be we've got to really consider um, before we start digging outside our our home biome. Like you know, I'd love to put another toilet in, but I I start mixing with you know, 11,000, 175,000 germ tiles, it could get pretty bad pretty fast. Um, we've got our food storage here, and obviously our bedroom here, our, um, 
our eatery up here. So I really want to look at sort of away from, from this sort of area. Um, but again, somewhere where I'm, I'm, I'm never going to move it. So we do a little bit of planning. And I, I like using priority one for planning. Uh, so if I put a tile there and I say I want another bedroom. So again, priority one. We want a set of doors. Then we want 16 tiles across. So that would be another bedroom. We would put in uh, tiles for a door and then a tile there for our, our extra tile that hangs over. Uh, we would do the exact same underneath if we wanted another, not necessarily a bedroom, but another 64 tile room because 64 tiles you'll find it is really, really common. Like a massage clinic, 64 tiles. A med bay can be slightly larger at 96. Um, power plant, but you're gonna need a couple of bedrooms. As you can see, we've already only got two beds free. We can go up to eight duplicates without too much hassle. Um, we probably don't have the food yet for eight duplicates, but you know, we, we are gonna wanna expand further. So what I'm actually looking at is, if that's that tile there, if I come down another four tiles, unfortunately it starts running into this natural food. Uh, if I come down another four tiles, one, two, three, four. Yeah, we could get in here without too much hassle. Germs, we don't have germs till over there. So I could build across to here without too much hassle. Um, so yeah, I could build to there without too much hassle. I could then turn this into a storage. I don't really want to kill off these natural growing plants yet because I just don't have, I don't have a way of, of, of supplementing um, their, their growth at this stage. They, they, they are natural growing food that I can obviously naturally dig up and eat. Um, so right at the moment, I really like to leave them growing, if at all possible, till I have a self-sufficient farm up and running. So, straight away, we're gonna up the priority to six and we're gonna dig, actually, we don't even need to dig that out. What we can do is we can put down storage boxes. We can make these out of sandstone or sedimentary rock. Um, actually, it's going to have to be sandstone because it looks like we've got basically no sedimentary rock. And we're just going to put in lots of storage compactors. Now, this is... The room itself is not temporary. Um, everything else, like the area above it, I'll let it is temporary. Um, all these plants are going to get dug up eventually. At the same time, I'll probably fill it with artwork or something like that to improve the overall decor. Uh, okay. Research. No, we're still plodding along slowly. So, bathroom. At the same time, let's do some bathroom planning. So, I want medicine. I want a sink. Um, we know this is a bedroom. This is potentially a bedroom. This is potentially a bedroom. Um, this is potential... Uh, this is going to be our, our, our kitchen, for lack of a better term, uh, for the moment. So we might as well look at putting a bathroom right here. Um, sinks and toilets and showers all require clean water in, dirty water out. So for, I guess, ease, um, I'm going to look at three lots of sinks and then lavatory. One, two, three, lots of showers. If we go back over our room overlay, we know our washroom is again one of those lovely 64 tiles rooms, same as uh, the latrine is also a 64 tile room, uh, which means if it's going to be four high, it can be 16 long. So I can potentially put two more buildings over here. Um, if we go back to our plumbing, we can either put down a couple more labs or we can put down a shower. I'm actually going to go with probably the lavatories and then I'm going to build a whole new room to no we 
because of our because the morale bonus for the moment actually we'll put we'll just put the showers in the same room because the shower doesn't actually shower doesn't actually get you any sort of morale bonus um, anywhere along the line so for the moment we're just going to put them in the same room it means we might need two bathrooms but hopefully it means we can spread them out so maybe we end up digging out further and we put one up here or up here wherever it happens to be um, same story I'm going to put some tiles underneath uh, germs we are going to dig through some some less than ideal tiles which is something we're going to have to deal with the easiest way so if I go to the germ overlay we have slime here so this slime is actually producing germs so we've got a million tiles a million germs here and if we go to the germs overlay they are growing on slime 15% um, spawn per cycle eventually and you actually see it's going down so it's reached that point where it's overpopulated and the germs actually slowly die off about a million tiles a million germs is the maximum you can get so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna uh, actually back to this so we've got slime here we've got slime here as you can see this one's obsidian this one's igneous rock this one's cement sedimentary rock these don't naturally carry germs um, what's actually happening is this the slime is growing the germs and they're spreading to the neighboring tiles and it will spread one tile in all directions so if I just build ground floor tiles along here the duplicates will always have to be t cleaning these tiles because they're in contact with the slime easiest way to avoid that is literally just digging them out if i just dig a couple of tiles out then the slime is no longer connected to our tiles so the germs can't grow or, or spread across onto the tiles of um our floor so Ghibli is going to have to come down here. They're going to get Jeremy digging it all out. Hopefully they'll go find a wash basin and tidy up eventually. Um, but that's sort of the, the best I can do for, for right now. Um, at the same time, these guys are digging out sand and, and having it all fall down on their heads. Okay. So... Uh, research is finished. Yeah, so research wise, we want the water sieve, produce clean water from polluted water using sand. So we want to get this tech done as fast as possible. Uh, and actually, I think I need a side piece of technology. No, we'll just make do. Okay. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the next one. I'm trying to get a, a, a plumbed bathroom. At the same time, because we're still in the planning stage, we might as well put in the pipes. So I want a liquid pipe uh, intake. So oh, we're just going to go straight across. So that's the liquid pipe in. That's to bring in clean water. This will be the dirty pipe out. I'll take out the dirty water, uh, and I'm just going to plumb them all straight up. And then we're going to have to find a way to get both clean water in and clean up the dirty water when it's when it's done in the system. Uh, same time, we're going to just knock a hole in the front so they can start digging this out. And we're going to set them off to dig off all the odd and end tiles. Uh, priority, please. Can we have these storage compactors done? Now... See, somebody just put a crap ton of coal in there. Those batteries are going to overflow. So, completely side tangent for one minute. We're going to put in that battery with that bit of wire because we found a little bit of space and build some tiles in underneath so we can walk away from that problem for a little bit. Uh, nobody's bothered building the roof. So we're just going just gonna to up the priority and get that roof done. Uh, now we've opened up a deodorizer. So as you can see, we have oxygen coming off from our algae deodorizers. At the same time, we have these bottles of polluted water. 
which are emitting polluted oxygen at not a large amount per, per second, but they are emitting a little bit of it. And as you can see, we've got all sorts of gases mixing at the bottom. Carbon dioxide is fine because these guys are going to eat it up. Uh, where is change the overlay? So we have polluted oxygen up here and polluted oxygen over here and polluted oxygen here, there and everywhere. Now, polluted oxygen by itself is perfectly fine. There's there's no harm in it. Just to give it as air that's just a, just a little bit smelly. The catch is, if it encounters germs, and thank God I don't have any yet, uh, but here we go. Here's some polluted oxygen down here. Um, it's overbooked those. It doesn't count. Uh, there we go. Oh, it just changed. There we go. So growing our polluted oxygen, 300% growth cycle. So germs will grow very, very, very rapidly in polluted oxygen. And it will actually give you a duplicate slime lung, which does not sound at all pleasant. So I, because we're running this sort of oxygen system, which is, it, it's a great system. It works wonderful. Um, I normally recommend as soon as we possibly can, uh, I doubt that bristle blossom is going to get light anymore. Um, I recommend as soon as we can, we get some deodorizers down here. And we literally put them right above our, 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 our algae terrariums. And then we dump our deodorizers on top. Now a deodorizer eats filtration medium, being sand. All right. Uh, and clears out polluted oxygen. All right, it turns 100 grams of polluted oxygen into 90 grams of plain, clean oxygen. At the same time, it uses that filtration mater material, um, being sand, and gives us back clay. Now, clay will have a use for much later in the game, not right at the moment. Uh, there's food up there that people are not dealing with, probably because they're stuck. We want to put, whoop, copy, we want to put that, oops, we want to put those doors up there, at the same time, we need to build a new floor in above, uh, which means we need to dig that out to have access. Okay, we've unlocked the ore scrubber in the tech tree. Um, which is something we don't need to deal with at the moment. Uh, plumbing is unlocked. Ah, oh, carbon scrubber. So a carbon scrubber will use water to eat carbon dioxide. So all this carbon dioxide that's pulling down here, our algae terrariums are dealing with currently. We can instead use a carbon skipper, which uses power and just destroys the carbon dioxide. It's a very, very plain way of dealing with it. Um, it does output more heat, which, as you can see, this area is already a little bit warmer than everywhere else. Um, so it is something to keep in mind. Uh, what else? And we'll also unlock the mechanical airlock, which is just an airlock. So, at the same time, we've actually got that first storage bin. So, what we can actually do is we can start storing all this crap we've got laying around in these bins. So first off, I'm just going to set it for all. Then I'm going to have a look through all the different types and see if there's anything we don't particularly want to store. Like I don't really want to have the duplicates take an egg off the ground that's probably going to hatch perfectly happily on the ground and come and shove it in storage. It can just stay there. And dirt's fine. Filtration material's fine. Metal ores... Probably fine. Oh, it's copper. Yep, organic. Now, organic, organic is algae, eggshell, and polluted dirt. I probably don't want polluted dirt being put in storage, as polluted dirt should be going off to compost instead. So we're going to untick that one. We've got raw minerals being different types of things, and then we've got seeds. Now, seeds... Personally, I like leaving seeds on the ground. 
Um, I would much prefer to be able to scroll past and go, okay, there's a seed there, there's a seed there, there's a seed there. I need to go plant more, more plants. Um, it's a personal thing. Um, some people prefer putting seeds into storage. Like I said, I'm, I, I'm not one. Um, but now that we have all these mealwoods happily growing, uh, unfortunately we have little dollops of polluted oxygen that is actually stopping our plants from growing. So we actually need to do something about that. And this is why I said we're going to have that extra one tile in front of, um, in in front of the the, the, the doors, so we can actually pop deodorizers and that sort of stuff out the front of doors to deal with this stuff. I'm going to put tile in there. We're going to go back to food. Um, we're just going to make another swash. That's as far as we got. Um, of more farm tiles and we're going to dig out all those tiles because they're actually not doing anything for us anymore so bathrooms being done slowly uh, open nine can I you're open eight if I use that copy no so there's a copy settings and a copy copy actually just copies the building uh, copy settings copies the settings used currently on this door being open with a high priority and applies it to different doors so in theory that should be set to open but it didn't it's a newish feature and obviously doesn't work fully as you would expect so yeah storage compactor um duplicates will slowly fill this up with all the crap that's on the ground it's level five so it'll be done as fast as level five items do get done um, because I've been fairly rampant with priority 8 for stuff, um, it might not happen fast, but it will happen eventually. And storage is one of those things that I'm pretty happy for it to happen eventually. Um, actually, the big things we need to look at for, store, for the storage compactors is getting the bedroom tidied up. Because it's got a negative to decor. Getting our... Um, great hall uh, and mess hall cleaned up anywhere where duplicates spend a significant amount of time is where you really want to get the debris off the ground cleaned up as fast as possible um, so yeah the moment they're trying to get these done they're going to try and get the storage compactors done at whatever rate they get them done uh, we're just going to set all of that to probably five and we just really want the deodorizers done sooner rather than later. And now we have research running. So we've got jobs mastered. Um, that's something we need to sort of have a look through. So we have learning has now mastered the research job. Now, the current morale is six. And if we take them up to being a scientist, they now need a morale of 12. Now, with the upgraded bathrooms, that's farming on research again. Where is learning? Down here building stuff. Ooh. So we got one for a duplicate, minus one for crap meal, two shift break being in our schedule. They have two shifts where they're idle. That gives us... Did I just... <sighs> Add it back. Did that? I? I deleted schedule number one. Awesome. We're just going to move a couple of duplicates across here. Just randomly. Done. Um, so a two shift break gives them a morale plot bonus of plus one if they give them a three ship shift break then they get a morale bonus of two um and so on and so forth so we've got plus one from being a duplicate minus one from being a mirror so we're at zero we've got plus one from our break plus one from the barracks uh plus one from the train plus three from the, the mess hall there's also a decor bonus so having all that crap on the ground is definitely not helping us um if we go around and and improve the decor around the place we can get yet another morale boost so at the moment we have um three four five six 
Uh, yeah, there is no way I can stretch that to 12. Not without giving him like four shifts off in a day, which would then improve the ability they, or the, improve the speed at which they did research. On the flip side, they'd spend so long doing absolutely nothing, it would negate the increase in the speed. Um, so, jobs. I can move learning off to do something else. So, they've mastered, because they've got a little hat here, they've mastered being a research assistant. They have an interest in being a general engineer. So I'm going to assign them to be a general engineer. Uh, learning will now follow camp. Research is done. Somebody's idle, that's never good. Yep, you're stuck. Idle is a bad thing. Idle normally means I'm stuck. Okay, back to learning. He's going to come up here. He's going to take his hat off. He's going to get a new hat. But. Uh, priorities. I want learning to stay at a super high priority for research. I really want learning to stick it out with research as much as possible. Um, so much and so that I'm actually going to manually lower uh, the priority for, for the operate task. I really don't want them doing operate. I want them to stay doing research all the time. But naturally over time, even if they never ever do any tinkering tasks being basically operating a machine, um, which we don't have any machines to operate at this stage. Um, yeah, any... They, they, they will still slowly over time master that trait. Um, so, that's running, that's running. We've got our deodorizers down here. So, they're awaiting filtration material. So, we're just going to turn that up really quickly. Um, just till they've, they've added some material. We're delivering water, shove sand in there. Okay, so we're going to set that back down now. And you can, ooh, using filtration material, using polluted oxygen, emitting clay, emitting oxygen. So over time, you'll see these guys will slowly clear up the polluted oxygen problem, um, which is exactly what we want. We just want them to clean off the polluted oxygen that's that's coming out of these deodorant at uh, these algae terrariums but you can straight away see that when these guys are putting out 40 grams of oxygen that polluted oxygen is putting out half that amount um half to a, to, to a quarter of that same amount and it doesn't require any jute manual power motivation water anything it just naturally happens over time the the polluted oxygen is naturally evaporating right and what was in doing so it, it's it's outputting basically free oxygen for us um let's see if we can get rid of that we can get rid of that our research is running along for this one which is the water sieve that's probably the that's the last thing we need for a up and running fully fledged bathroom uh unfortunately now we just need the dupes to go build the damn thing so i'm going to end the episode here um we've sort of accomplished all the things we needed to accomplish um really it's it's wait for them to do this at the same time have them start cleaning up and putting stuff in storage because it's a priority five and and i've been using the higher level priorities to get things done a little bit faster it will take them why is that unreachable you can climb on there you silly duplicates show navigation yeah you can climb on there yeah they can climb along there um yeah because i've been using the priority system It'll take them a while to do this. It'll take them a while to start sweeping up some of the mess. Uh, again, I can use the priority system and say sweep, say six, and say, hey, all this crap on the floor in here, 
go sweep it into storage and again give it a higher priority so it actually happens uh but as i said i'm gonna leave it here thank you guys for watching uh in the next episode we're gonna try and blast through trying to get a bathroom set up um yeah so come back hit the subscribe button if you haven't already to make sure you're notified about the next episode and i guess i'll see you in that one thanks for watching bye